touch down. We are in Fort Lauderdale. That is the airport that we flew into. And we have touched down waiting for our Uber, AKA ride share as they call it here at the airport. And um, once we get in to our hotel and get checked in, I will give you guys a tour. So stay tuned until the next check-in. This is our room, guys. This is actually super dope. So the bathroom is a standing shower bathroom that has a drain in the middle of the floor. Kind of like you would see if you were to go to an island or if you were to go out of the country, their bathrooms are set up very much like this. Then we have here the toilet, the sink, and me. Hey guys. The mirror we just walked in. So I'm just giving you guys a quick tour before we put our things down. Here's the luggage and closet area. Then we come into the bedroom area, which I love. Of course, the marble floors is marble floors is what made me want to stay here. Then we have a perimeter of the room, windows, TV, just a full circle here with the bed, a refrigerator, nightstand, more artwork. A nice little view of outside. We can actually open this window, as you can see. And yeah, we're about to get settled in and change, take a shower, relax, and enjoy our weekend here in Miami. So leave your thoughts below about what you think about this room. It's very quaint and simple. But let me know what you think down below. I haven't done a trip here in a minute, but um, as you can see, I'm on the beach and having a good time. So what I did today, I pretty much slept in, taking all about 10 right now. It's about 11.15, came to the beach around 10.15, and now I'm finally getting ready to go. I feel like I've gotten darker already. Today I didn't vlog while I was at the beach yesterday, only because it was a travel day, and then like going to the beach was kind of like random. We didn't really plan it or anything, but today I was planning on going to the beach first thing in the morning before it got too busy and too hot, so, <clears throat> I'm gonna check in with you guys when I get back to the Airbnb. Um, I know, I mean the hotel, not the Airbnb. <laughs> I know um, I, I have been a terrible vlogger on this trip, but I have been getting some good footage for you guys so you can see what I see. And um, I haven't really been doing anything, honestly, guys. I haven't, I didn't really plan anything. This is really more of like a staycation 
where I just wanted to get out of town and things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this check-in here because I don't even know if you guys can hear me because of this wind and the water. Thank you guys for watching so far and keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so checking back in. What's up if you still tuned in to the vlog? Still in day two. So right now I'm in the hotel, just finished taking a wonderful, wonderful shower. And um, what am I about to do? I don't really know what I'm about to do. Probably about to get lunch right now. It's almost 12 o'clock. So what I'll probably do is change into this little jumper here. I put a jacket on top of it, but it's just a little jumper and um, something cool, calm, and comfortable. And um, I possibly may, you know, go get lunch um, or I might just get some lunch delivered and eat it downstairs in the courtyard. Um, speaking of courtyard, I took some bomb pictures in the courtyard. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and head on over to my Instagram. My name will be right here. And don't forget to follow your girl. Um, I don't really, post on YouTube as much as I should yeah! but um, I do post on my Instagram story pretty often and um, don't forget to support your girl's business by subscribing to this channel first of all because yes we want to make money from YouTube duh and by secondly going to my website theluxurycollection.com and subscribing there as well um, all you have to do is put your email in sorry y'all I'm kind of sweating <laughs> Cause the bathroom's kind of hot from that shower and I put on lotion already. Oh, I just noticed that in that last clip, I had a little piece of sand on my lip. I didn't see it cause I had on sunglasses. Wait, the waves from the ocean just kind of whipped me when I was getting out of the water. So, and I must say, I don't think I got any darker at the beach, but I definitely had on my sunscreen. I definitely had on my sun visor and I definitely had on my um, sunglasses. So all the protection I could possibly need. If you come into Miami or Florida or anywhere in the South, really, and you're gonna be outside for longer than five minutes, boo, bring the sunscreen, bring the sun visor and bring the sunglasses. Okay, words are wise, none more, none less. But anyway, I can tell even with the sunglasses and sun visor and stuff, I can still tell that my body didn't um, tan either because I don't have any tan lines. Um, I like tan lines, but at the same time, I don't like for my skin to be uneven. So it's kind of a good thing that I didn't get any tan lines. I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, this is lit. We flew in yesterday and um, we actually, Went out to eat last night. I will insert clips. Of course, I don't. Um, maybe I already did, but if I didn't, I'll insert them here of what we did last night. Um, pretty much just stayed on the street that we're um, staying on for the weekend. Stay, stayed on the street that we are staying on. Yeah, so we didn't really Uber anywhere. Um, our hotel is on a main strip. This is Collin, Collins Avenue, so Collins Boulevard, something like that. And on this street, it connects to Ocean Drive, right here in Mid Beach. So we were able to go on that strip and go right to the ocean, which was literally less than a block away, which was amazing. Um, and that's another tip that I want to give you guys if you're ever planning a trip yourself and you want to stay near the beach or on the beach, but you want to be, you know, economical and save money. Um, I would definitely suggest finding somewhere kind of like this place. And I'll insert a clip of what, you know, the location looks like as far as our um, hotel goes or as far as my hotel goes. 
basically I didn't book a hotel that was exactly like right right on the beach I um, booked one that sorry guys I'm trying to find a good angle I booked one that was um like a block away from the beach so the price was still good it's still within walking distance like literally once I got out of the water I was back in my room in less than two minutes so um that's really good if you guys are interested in the hotel that i stayed in then definitely check down below for the name of it um because i love the whole marble thing they have going on here the um the outside of it is really like a rustic type of like you know um kind of, kind of parisian it's very you know what that's exactly what it is it's very parisian it's giving very much paris vibes like old school paris vibes um, kind of French as well, French vibes, uh, which I love, um, even though it's not like a super upscale hotel, it's not super fancy and luxury. The rooms are nice and roomy. Um, of course, like I said, there's marble everywhere. So the pictures are fantastic here. And, um, again, it's right on the beach. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, so don't think I'll get any money from you staying here. I've been wearing this necklace pretty much the whole vlog and I never told y'all where it was from. I actually ordered this from Shein. Y'all know I love Shein. I've had it on since our flight yesterday and um, it still looks, you know, nice and shiny and pretty and it's just what I need. Something dainty, you know, to accentuate my outfits. I love that word, accentuate. If you don't know what that means, go ahead and look it up. New word, word of the day. <laughs> Um, I hope it's not an echo in here, guys, because it is a pretty large bathroom. So if it is, I apologize. If you've watched so far or to this point and you haven't already, do your girl a big, huge favor and tap that subscribe button that's down below. Also, tap the notification bell that's right beside the subscribe button. Give your girl a big, huge, fat thumbs up on this video. Like my video and comment down below as far as restaurant recommendations go, hotel recommendations, um, you know, just exploring this area and getting some B-roll. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Again, I've been taking some bomb pictures. So if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Uh, now, this hotel, again, I'm staying just two nights. So, we um, flew in Friday, and um, I'm leaving out on Sunday, and basically, it's just like a two, two and a half day trip. Um, really, not even that. Really, it's just like a, a, a two day trip, like two halves and one day. Last time I came to Miami, I don't know if you guys have seen that Miami vlog before this one it's actually a part one and a part two it was a girl's trip now that was really lit so if you're into like trip vlogs which obviously you are because you're watching this one <laughs> then go watch my part one and part two of miami of my miami girls trip from last year super fun we did um a yacht day we went shopping we um went to the pool that was right on our terrace we cooked, partied, drank, went to a mansion party. It was really, really lit. So if you missed that video, um, I actually have it right here so that you can click it. And I'll also have it linked down below in the description box. And it's also going to be in this playlist because I have a trips playlist or a travel playlist so that you can watch all my travel videos, girl. Yay! Um, if you like any of my swimsuits that I wore, the black and white one was from Shein and the red one was from Walmart, I believe. Yeah, this red one was from Walmart. Um, it's just hanging here on the little rail to dry um, because we don't have a balcony. Sorry, I'm like not dressed right now, guys. Like I said, I just got the shower. Just wanted to check in and, you know, give you girls some updates. Give you guys some updates. Breakfast here because of COVID, of course. I don't know if this is the, the same thing with all like hotel, like non-resort hotels or what. But this hotel didn't really have a full breakfast. They had a continental, really an abridged continental breakfast, um, which was basically just croissants, green apples, and your choice of coffee and tea. That was pretty much all that was down there. So I just got a croissant and some coffee. Uh, probably the reason why I'm talking so fast <laughs> is because of that cappuccino. This is like a 
like a tips portion, I guess. Always make sure when you are packing for Florida that you pack comfortable walking shoes, not just those little slide-in shoes or the little hard bottom sandals. Make sure you bring comfy shoes. I always bring these, which are from Shein as well, when I go on vacation. And um, they're not super duper stylish, but Chanel does make some sandals just like these. Matter of fact, I think I put this in my last either dupes video haul, like dupes haul video, or my last Shein haul video. So I'll have it linked up here when I figure it out. Um, those are comfortable. Number one, always bring comfortable walking shoes, aka sandals um, that are jelly or comfy or cushion, something like that. Um, make sure you do something with your hair. As you see, I did some crochet locks myself. I had my cousin do some corn rolls for me and I just crocheted these locks in myself. It took me about two to three hours. So whether that means doing your own like box braids or getting some braids done, it's always beneficial to do something with your hair, protective style with your hair when you're on vacation. You never know when your hair is going to get wet. Your hair, the top of your head is always going to be hit by the sun, you know, so you want your hair to be protected. So comfortable shoes, protective hairstyle. Make sure, again, you have your sunscreen, sun visors, sunglasses for sun protection. Also, make sure that you double, triple, quadruple check on your flight um status because it will change regularly um uh, we actually rushed to the airport only to find out that once we got to the airport our flight had been delayed over an hour so we you know left a few hours early from home you know uh, and did you know pretty much a good we didn't really rush rush because we knew we had time since we left early but um we were you know in a hurry so <clears throat> Make sure that you double, triple check the details of your flight status, your hotel status. Make sure that um, there's nothing, you know, that might be a delay or something that's changed. Make sure you check on that. Another tip I can give you kind of in that same family is make sure if you book your flight yourself that you download the app for the um, flight that you booked with and that way you can keep a track on the um, status updates and you can also have those sent to you via text message um, so if your flight is delayed and you're still in TSA you're not like stressed you'll get a text message and it'll say your flight has been delayed until 11 30 from 10 25 so you know if we're sorry for the delay whatever so make sure you have those notifications on and keep a track on the updates of your bookings and reservations and um, another tip I would give you guys is to uh, bring socks um, even if you're going to the beach pack socks because you never know who's been walking around on the floor before you checked in okay so you want to make sure you have socks slides I brought my little furry slides for work walking around in here also make sure for trips under four days so maybe three day trips three and a half day trips for those types of trips um go ahead and save the money on getting a luggage checked in and just carry on a carry-on bag i brought a backpack with all of my clothes shoes makeup toiletries and um other essentials as well it was all able to fit in my backpack but of course, this is because I made sure I double and triple checked my reservations to make sure that, you know, that type of bag was allowed. I double and triple checked and made sure that my hair was done before I went on vacation so I didn't have to bring a whole bunch of hair products. And um, I also double and triple checked and made sure that I had outfits that coordinated so that I wouldn't be bringing like a bunch of different options. So pretty much all of my outfits since I've been here have been just black and white so that I can mix and match things. Um, and of course, you can switch it up with your bathing suits, things like that. But as far as outfits go, it's a lot easier if you bring items that 
pretty much coordinate with each other. So you won't feel restricted and you won't feel like you didn't bring enough clothes and things don't match. So those are my little tips that I have for solo traveling or going on a staycation or going to the beach period, um, especially during the summertime. Make sure you keep all of those things in mind and keep on watching it to the next clip. I'm kind of out of breath. One thing before I let y'all go, child, let me tell you about yesterday. Okay, so yesterday, of course, we checked in. Well, our flight landed here around 1. We Ubered to the hotel. It was only 20-something miles, but it took us about an hour to get here, 45 minutes to an hour to get here because of traffic. So we got here, checked in, relaxed. Um, I showered. I, I think we ended up going to the beach right after that. And then coming back, I showered again. Um, no, I didn't shower before the beach, actually. I just showered after the beach. And then um, when we got back from doing that, just chilling, coming up with dinner plans. The electricity in the hotel, like, just goes black. So I'm like, I'm confused. So of course, my first thing is, I'm like, let me ask the front desk. Y'all, the phone was still working. I don't know how the phone was still working and there was no electricity, but the phone was still working. I guess there was a generator on at one point. Then um, I was like, okay, well, let's just leave. This was around five or six. I was like, let's just leave and go get dinner. Maybe it'll be back on when we get back. Ciao. No, it wasn't. It was black from the lobby. The elevators didn't work. Nothing in the room worked. And that went on for, I would say, probably from around six until about probably nine o'clock, nine or 10 o'clock. It was late, you know, so... Uh, I really wanted a refund for my room. Y'all comment down below <laughs> and tell me if y'all would have requested a full refund on your room for that happening and being an inconvenience. Y'all, my phone was about to die. I was scared. It was after the Miami curfew, which is 8 p.m. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay. So, I was like, what am I going to do? I was like, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. And when I didn't panic, the lights came back on. So <laughs> that was that. I really was just watching YouTube. I was like, mm, I'm gonna just let this phone die. And this one will still be alive when I wake up. I'm gonna just watch YouTube till I go to sleep. I was watching, who was I watching? Gina Janine's, um, what all she, what all surgeries she got in video. That was a good video, honey. Very informative. We love you, Gina, here at Sharif Life of Luxury. Speaking of surgeries. Y'all stay tuned because your girl might have a few surgery vlogs coming herself. And, oh, and I have a story time video coming about the surgery that I was supposed to get last year. So keep an eye out for that story time as well. And now I'm done chit-chatting because I'm thirsty. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am about to do a quick get ready with me. So I'm gonna speed right through it because it's literally going to be so quick that um, it's just, there's no point in even talking through it. This is my quick little vacation look. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I'll be using. Super quick, super easy, super vacation appropriate. So I have my edge control and my edge brush from the Luxury Collection. And um, I'm going to be slicking these edges back. Um, and then I'm going to be basically just color correcting right around my eyes here. Um, I was up pretty late last night. So this is going to help with um, that discoloration under my eyes and on my eyelids. That's pretty much all I'm going to use this on because it's literally kind of hot here. So, and we're gonna be wearing masks, so there's no point in putting anything on here. I already put on a moisturizer. It's called an oil-free moisturizer. I actually got it from Dollar Tree. Now, this is my Revlon Color Stay Powder. I've hit the pan in it, as you can see, but um, it's great for little touch-ups like this and for setting liquid makeup as well and my color is 410 cappuccino the edge control that i use this is um this says edge booster but i actually ran out of the edge booster and i scooped out some of my edge effects edge effects 
um, edge control, I think that's what it's called, and put it in here. And then um, I'm going to be using my Milani blush today. I haven't been using this blush lately because this is a cream blush. But I'm going to put just a little bit on today since I'm not putting on any foundation or anything. Just want to brush a little of that on. And I'm going to pipe on my pop on my luxury collection lashes that I, that I have here. And um, these are my favorite style. So check these out on my website for sure. These are the best style. They're not too long, not too short. I also have my lash grip, which I lost the top to, of course. All the, like I do all the time. That's what I'll be putting my lashes on with. And um, the perfume that I'll be wearing today is going to be my Calvin Klein. This is called Euphoria Blossom. And y'all, it smells so good. If rich and sexy. Oh, I'm about to spray some on now. Mm. If rich, sexy, sweet, and spicy all was in one bottle, it would be this, okay? And as you can see, she's almost gone. So um, keep on watching. I'm just going to speed through this part so you can see what it looks like once I'm done. I don't have a mirror right here, so I pretty much just be looking at you guys and using my compact. Okay, so the name has rubbed off. I don't know what brand name this is. I'm sorry, y'all, but um, it is in the color warm brown, if that helps. And it's just a brow gel like this, like a mascara wand, and I just put it in my brows. Got to tell you guys i'm going to be using my wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder on my um eyebrow bone and um my tear duct and i'm not sure if i said it already but this is my milani it's called it was in the color 140 Merlot Moment Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. That's what it says here.
eyeliner that I'm going to be using is by LA Colors. It's called the Auto Eyeliner, and that's because it um, scrolls out. Ooh, I'm at the end. This is the last of it. But yeah, it does scroll in and out. I have another one that's like a regular pencil, but that's just my backup. And then I'm going to be using my Wildberry Drench uh, Victoria's Secret flavored lip gloss. <laughs> So this is the end of the little get ready with me portion. I hope you like my little quick vacation ready, light, soft, really soft glam look. Um, I oh I didn't put any in my tear duct. Using your camera to do makeup is really hard. So if y'all see mistakes that I don't see, I'm sorry, but it's different when you use a camera as a mirror. But this is the end look. I love this little cream blush touch. So cute. Really gives me some color. Really brightens me up. Let's see what it looks like in natural light. Yes. Very glowy. Simple. And cute. <laughs> what's up y'all so i'm just chilling right now getting lunch what we got going on a little salad that looks so good before i mixed it up oh my god had egg avocado corn beans like mm. i'm at erka 35 and um, yeah, I ordered the salad. I think it's like a something Cobb salad, but it's really good. I needed something light because it's hot here, but it still has, you know, all of my protein and water, my healthy fats. You know, when you ain't ate much, something as simple as a salad is delicious. Let me give y'all a view of where I'm sitting. You can't really tell, but it's a little pool over there. Nice little greenery and good, good atmosphere. And last time I was here, I stayed in South Beach. But this time I stay in Miami, like mid beach area. So it still has the strip. It still has the, um, you know, like nice hotels. It still has, um, that's a liquor store over there. So South, I'm sure South Beach is like run over with college students and high school students and grown people who think they still college students. So I was like, mm, let's not go to South Beach. <laughs> Man, the animals here in Florida are bold, okay? I was trying to take a picture today. In the I was trying to take a picture today in the little courtyard area at my hotel. Y'all, why this whole lizard dragon jump out? <laughs> I'm talking about lizard dragon. But it was just a lizard, but it just came out of nowhere. Like, it wanted to be in my picture. What are you doing? I'm about to go and finish smashing this salad. Cause I know y'all don't want to see me stuff my face with salad. And then I'll be back. So, checking in again with y'all. So right now, what I'm doing is getting lunch. Um, I think I pretty much gave all of the information about our lunch. Um, in my live video that I did, we ate at Circa 39, um, which it looks like that's the name of this hotel actually, um, but it also has a restaurant and bar in it and outdoor seating. And right now I'm just sitting poolside. I'll show you guys the camera around and show you guys what it's looking like poolside. And um, I should have been sitting here the whole time, 
Um, I love this greenery, but you know the lizards here, y'all, they, they kind of crazy. So stuff like this kind of scares me. I'm scared one might just jump on my shoulder or something. for a little while and uh, as you can see my lip liner and lip gloss is gone it's on the inside of my mask <laughs> but um i'm gonna go ahead and just chill here for a minute and probably edit some video footage that i've gotten from the trip and i'll check in with you guys later when i'm doing something more interesting other than just sitting here by the pool <laughs> hey y'all checking in again so um, after lunch, pretty much just been um, chilling and um, about to do some more editing in just a minute. I just wanted to check in here at this place called Primo Cafe, um, Primo Market and Cafe. This is literally like the only store here that we have found that sells like convenient, you know, like snacks and um, little pre-made meals, things like that. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour and... Um, See what it's looking like i'm gonna start out here on the strip and i'm gonna work my way in so you can see the um different things that they have their prices are outrageous literally everything is double the price here um <laughs> in miami like i don't know if it's just because this is like the only convenience store or what um but yeah we didn't have to really uber anywhere it was really no point in ubering to go get groceries because we've only you know we're only staying a couple days but um, this place is very convenient. So let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside. just checking in once again um i kind of been right here for the last like uh, 
seven hours. So, not really much to update y'all on, but I have been editing the video. Just being in the room, I actually got some work done, which is awesome. Uh, so, I'm going to catch you guys on the next check-in, which is going to be tomorrow, day three. I know y'all day two is kind of short, but it's okay. Day three is going to be another travel day, headed back to Atlanta. So, stay tuned for that. I know this vlog is getting super long. Um, I thought that the trip was going to be too short to do a part two, but I don't know. It's looking, it's looking like it's about to be an hour long. So I hope y'all stick it out and you have made it this far, hopefully. And if you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss out on one of my uploads. So uh, good night to me and um, I'll see y'all in the next check-in. Today is the last day. I've got my coffee. I'm all charged up. My phone's charged, your phone's charged. So the next thing that I'll be doing is heading to the airport. So I'm already dressed and showered. And um, it's kind of warm out here. I stepped out here for the good lighting, but it's kind of hot. Okay, y'all, I had to get in the shade. It was too hot. But anyway, like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching my video all the way to the end. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because the footage of us going back to the airport and back home is pretty much gonna be the same. So I may put in a little B-roll here, but if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Don't forget to check out my next video and my last video. I'm gonna put some videos here on the screen so that you guys can click and keep watching Cherie's Life of Luxury. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to join the fam. Hit that like button so I know that you like travel vlogs. And again, thank you for watching. I love you, God love you.